<laughs> what did it take me? Like 40 minutes? <laughs> That's it. That's how it's done, boys. Ladies and gents and the rest. Today I'm going to show you probably the easiest kill of Onyxia in the world. Uh, it's not a clickbait. I'm, I mean it. You would have to AFK for like almost three minutes and then you start... I mean, don't get gold capped, obviously, but you don't touch Onyxia for three minutes. Uh, we'll, okay, we'll get to that. This is just going to be so good. It's just... Woof. Before we start, let me do a little foreplay. So this is not the world's first legit kill. First of all, what do I mean by legit kill? Legit kill for me is when you don't have like 28, 27 units where your deck is too high level and you don't really need any guides. You just go kill an Ixia. This is not a legit kill. Legit kill is below level 26 average. And it, that, it, it, you can't manipulate uh, levels like, okay, I have level 29 Huntress, but I have level 1 Bandits. That's not the legit kill either. So the legit kills, the, I know there is only one. I'm pretty sure everybody saw that. It, it was a rent kill uh, with the meat wagons. Uh, the last 17 minutes with a lot of pauses. I'm pretty sure you all know that. But the reason why I wouldn't suggest this kill to everybody is because it's ridiculously hard to execute. You have to literally think every single second of the encounter. This is not what average players uh, want to do, and this is not what average players are capable of doing. So I had to come up with something better, and I did. My kill has no broken mechanics, no unintentional mechanics, no bugs, nothing like that. It's absolutely legit. And unless Blizzard doesn't like us to have fun, which is always the case, um, I will like this skill will be here forever and it will be usable by anybody. And this is like, I'm not saying it's free to play friendly, but you can definitely farm this as a free to play player. It's just gonna take some time. I was struggling for like three weeks with Drakisad, and then I found one unit. Uh, you probably see it's this uh, these skeletons, and I killed the Nixie in, in like less than four hours. I'm gonna show you all the timings. It's so easy and so just. Ugh. Okay, let's go. So obviously we're gonna be using Drakisat as our main like as a hero. Uh, the reason why we go with Drakisat is Drakisat is hard counter to pretty much everything in this encounter. Drakisat. Uh, tanks Onyxia really well. It takes 50% less damage from Onyxia. Drakisat um, can take one Drakisat and Shaman can take all three towers. And Drakisat is the best tank against mini bosses. <laughs> mini bosses. <laughs> okay, you wouldn't get it. Next unit is Drake with um, with the eggs talent. Same purpose. Clear eggs on the sides. That's pretty much all you gotta do. Well, packs, um, these are very high level, but you will see that you don't need them being high level. Uh, it's going to be fine. Just We use them to sometimes kill necromancers, and most of the time we surround towers uh, by these whelps. So when the Nixia does a phase switch, uh, the whelps pop up, take towers back. You know you know the story. It's the same thing in every kill. Uh, next unit is a pyromancer. The reason why we need pyromancer with the uh, conflagrate talent is because uh, Pyromancer, like, for sometimes when Necromancer is coming at you with the skeletons in front, Pyromancer can hit the skeletons in front and it does damage to Necromancer behind because it's really hard to reach Necromancer with, or with normal units. And one Necromancer can kill your tower. So that's very dangerous. This is a very cheap, great counter to a lot of things here. It also it can also clear whelp eggs when they all pop up. When you, you know when you uh, fuck up the timing and you don't clear them on time, they pop up and they come in at your core and you throw pyromancer in a certain spot. I'll sh I'll show you where and she will kill everything before they get to the core. Yeah. I think it must be at least level 25 because um you need like you will be able to kill whelp eggs in two hits. Because if it takes three hits, you might you will die. They're just gonna kill you. Uh, next unit is bandits with a gold chest talent. Uh, oh, for those who don't know, there is a new mechanic. Uh, now, if bandits are attacking the gold chest and somebody else uh, last hits the gold chest, you still get the bonus gold because now uh, bandits buff on the on the chest persists for 1.5 seconds after bandits stop attacking that. So if somebody else is attacking, 
uh, you will always get bonus gold. Shaman, I don't mention talents. Sorry, I forgot, but it's kind of obvious. You see the pictures. Uh, Shaman with Earth Shield talent, again, uh, to heal Drakisat and to buff Drakisat with uh, armor trade, right? Uh, Shaman and Drakisat is pretty much the key combo to beat this encounter. And the main event of this deck is Skeleton Party with Ritual of Rhyme talent. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to surround our core with a few packs of the skeletons and uh, earth elementals are going to die on their way to your core. They will never be able to even touch your core. That's how good these things are. And like I said, we're going to have to stay AFK. Or we're going to have to stay at our base. Uh, we're not going to touch Onyxia for 3 minutes and 30 seconds. So you have to, you know, spend gold somewhere. So that you will easily be able to spawn a lot of skeletons around your core. And it's amazing. You will see how easy everything will become. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, my Drakisat is level 24. Can I still do that? Let me tell you uh, what you can reduce right here, right now, right away, and still have the exact same progress. Uh, minus one on Drakisat, minus uh, one, minus two on Drake, minus three on Wellpex, like level 24 is enough. Uh, minus one on Pyromancer. <laughs> You can like literally have these guys level one. Nobody cares. Um, Shaman can be level twenty-four, and this I don't know. This is the first time I've used them. Um, so uh, mine, mine are blue level twenty-three. I think it's low enough. But maybe if somebody can do it while with a lower level skeletons, let me know. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus one, minus whatever you want. Minus two, minus zero. That is uh, how you can reduce levels if you can't uh, if you don't have uh, these levels already. Um, here is a little mechanic that some people can't see. So this is Onyxia, and this is uh, her range that the way she attacks. She attacks left and right, right. So when Drakisat is here, for example, like this, um, he has an aura that um, does extra elemental damage to anybody who is inside, right? So let's just draw it like this, for example, like that. So as you can see right here, Onyxia is inside of this aura. That means that if you throw whelp eggs here, she will blow them up and they will, she will get uh, extra damage from whelp eggs even though they are on this side because Onyxia is, in Drakis, is inside of Drakisat's aura. So that's how you can deal extra damage to Onyxia sometimes um, if you have to. Just a little thing to note. All right, let me explain to you why we need to stay AFK, kind of, right? Uh, by the way, this is going to be a core here. You know, like this. So here's what you do. Um, the reason why we need to stay AFK and not touch Onyxia is because the first phase of Onyxia is the easiest and you have the least amount of pressure out of the out of three phases, right? On the first phase, you only have Welpex spawning. On the second phase, you have Welpex and Elementals. Third phase, you have Welpex, Elementals, more units, mini bosses, and uh, you have... Uh, well, it, it, it's not confirmed, but people say that Onyxia gets uh, uh, armored and resistant trait at the end, uh, uh, on the third phase. So, here's what we do. You start from here, you spawn in my, since we're using my deck, uh, Drakisat, Shaman, and one DPS, and these three will take this tower, this tower, and this tower, like that. After that, they're gonna go to Anixia, and they're gonna die. You will see that I made a mistake in my attempt, so I made a lot of mistakes, and I still killed Anixia, and I had a lot of time left, so this deck allows you to make a lot of mistakes and still win. So again, you go like this, you take the towers, you die, and uh, up. that's pretty much it. After that, you just defend until the time shows 2 minutes and 30-ish seconds. Obviously, plus minus 10 seconds. This is the time when you start uh, actually switching, pushing uh, Onyxia to the next phase. Until then, so which means from 6 minutes to 2 minutes and 30 seconds, you gotta do something, right? So what you do is you throw your drakes here and there, you clear eggs, you know, you defend these towers. More importantly, 
whenever you have a gold, you have to spawn those frozen skeletons. I usually do four packs here. You're going to have so much gold, you will not know where to spend it. So I surround the core like that. I spawn two packs on the left, two packs on the right, and you will have to you will spawn them here after that there somewhere else because you're going to have so much gold and you know. But keep in mind that don't spawn uh, these skeletons too close to this chest because if you do, they're going to attack the chest as soon as it shows up and you're not going to get bonus gold uh, using bandits, right? So keep that in mind. So by the time you start pushing Onyxia to the next phase, uh, you have to have four packs of skeletons surrounding your core. You will see how helpless earth elementals are going to be against these skeletons. You, they, he, with these skeletons, phase one and phase two for you will be absolutely no different. I mean, the top elementals here and here would have to be taken care of, but other than that, it's gonna be it's, you're gonna feel so easy. You will see what I'm talking about. So when uh, when you have this well, uh, sorry, when you have these skeletons around your core, and the timer is kind of here, two minutes and thirty to forty, something like that, you start building your death ball. You come from here again. You throw Drake, Sat and Shaman here. Or maybe you can start from here like that right away, or from here like that right away. Uh, the reason why you, you can't start from this from this tower right away is because um, you need two shamans to uh, trigger the phase switch. Because if you send one drag and one shaman, uh, it's not going to be enough. Um, they might die. So you, you throw two. Sometimes I do three. When like obviously these things are minor, you will figure it out yourself. Everybody has different play style. So when the timer is 2.30, you go like this, boom, 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 you trigger phase two, and immediately, as soon as you get to phase two, you'll go, you do the same thing, and you trigger phase three. In other words, when you get to the phase three, you're going to, you should have two minutes of overtime. When this happens, Onyxia should spawn mini bosses. One, one is going to be here, one is going to be here. What we're going to do, we're going to build one big death ball, we're going to go this way, and we're going to win the game right away. We're going to ignore this guy completely. He will take this tower, then he will take this tower, then he will come here. We're going to throw Drakisat right here, because Drakisat is an amazing tank against... Um, um, against mini bosses, and uh, while all of this is happening, we're just gonna go like this, and we're gonna kill the next year. It's super easy, just one push. So you have to do like overall the whole encounter. You take towers with Drakisat. After three minutes later, you switch phase. Then you switch phase one more time. Then you build one death ball, and you win the game. That's how it's done. You, you don't kill everything on the map. You don't do it correctly. You don't do it like, uh, you know, you, you don't do things right. You do things the way I say. It's going to be super easy, super schmeasy. Um, I hope it was not that complicated, but let's take a look at the kill and you will see how easy it is and how many mistakes I've made. Jesus Christ. All right, here's a kill. I cut out uh, as many pauses as I could. I kept some little ones because if I cut them, uh, it would have looked even uglier. So let's go step by step so what we do exactly we throw shaman we throw drakisat and we start taking towers come on man good boy all right the obviously this is my uh, starting hand so i don't know what's going to be in yours i don't know how you're going to do it now we throw uh, uh fire a uh, pyromancer sorry we kill all that. See how effective she is under the Drakisat's effect? It's just you know, one shots, almost one shots. Okay, so we take this, uh, we start taking tower. And here is the first huge mistake that I made. Watch. I threw a second shaman. Do you know what it means? That means that this party is going to trigger the phase switch after they take all the towers. That's how dangerous it is. That's how strong Drakisat is. Like you, you throw you throw one more unit accidentally and you trigger the phase switch. Okay? Let's keep watching. We walk, walk, walk. Okay, here is here is how you counter this well pegs with the pyromancer. Watch. Like this boom. Well, unfortunately it's not showing that, but oh well, everything is dead already. 
So yeah, it takes two hits to kill uh, this huge pile of whelpegs. Well, well, whelps. Okay, now we start throwing uh, our frozen skeletons. I mean, it's too early, but I already have nothing to do. I'm getting gold capped, and uh, I have nothing else to do, pretty much. Right. So I start throwing. Yeah, these are. This is the post that I cut out. Everything is just uh, pretty typical. You've done it a million times. You take gold. You throw the drakes left and right. You throw well packs whenever you have extra gold. Okay, here is how the pyromancer works. We throw pyromancer here to clear all that because if we don't clear all that, they're going to damage the tower. We're going to get in trouble. Boom. See? Boom. We hit the melee skeleton and it hits a necromancer behind. That is the power of pyromancer. See how strong she is? Mwah. Keep spawning frozen skeletons around your core. Like I said, I usually do four packs and then I stop. But again, you're going to have so much gold, you would have to throw them somewhere else. And see, accidentally, because I threw this uh, two shamans, it's a face switch. And I told you, I told you not to do it. I told you only throw one shaman so you don't trigger the face switch. And unfortunately, I got extra headache for myself. Now I have to deal with Earth Elementals until uh, until the time comes and I push it to the third phase. So that is the mistake that I made at the very beginning, and I'm paying for it now. It's not super deadly. It's just going to give you more headache, uh, especially these uh, top Elementals. The bottom ones are not even going to get uh, to your core ever, like ever, ever, ever. And if you, sometimes, if your drake dies and your whelpex come to your core, they will one-shot your skeletons, obviously. Um, and you just throw a pyromancer if you don't have a drake. And pyromancer is going to kill everything. Okay? So I have to, I, I throw Drakisad because, uh, again, as long as you have one shaman, you're good. Um, so Drak is going to take all the towers back. Now I'm in trouble because, again, I got myself so much headache because I was an idiot. And this is like, this is unsuccessful attempt. See how many times I'm fucking up? How many problems I'm having? And look at the result at the end. The power of frozen skeletons, boys. That's how you deal with necromancers. You throw well packs, use pyromancers. Um... Don't forget, you don't need to have such a high level of uh, well pegs. Taking all these things back. Throwing Pyromancer, preparing to take this tower back. Um, see? We killed, we killed the Drake accidentally because of our, because our area, area is huge, huge. Gigantic. <clears throat> yeah, see? Just deleting Earth Elementals. These skeletons are monsters. For some reason, I wasn't smart enough to do, to do the same thing around the middle tower, but that's me. Welcome. Well, the time is 2:25, but I already triggered one phase, right? So I'm gonna wait a little bit more, and I'm gonna make I'm, I'm gonna fuck up the timings as well. I'm throwing these frozen skeletons on top because I just have too much gold, um, and yeah, be because of that, they're gonna take they're gonna be taking gold chests all the time, every time um, gold chests pop, pops up. Again, Pyromancer is helping us to kill the left Necromancer. Just beautiful. Doing really well. Oh, doing really well. Fucked up right away. But right now we're defending, defending, defending. We don't need to push an Ixia. This is the power of this deck. Uh, you don't. You actually have to slow down. You don't have to push. One more minus of the second phase. It's a rumor, but it kind of looks like it. Uh, Onyxia stands, starts spawning more units on the second and third phase. So this is one more reason to not go to phase two unless you have to. All right. Come on. Well, he's thinking I'm going to have a... I guess he didn't see anything. So this is the time uh, where we're going to start throwing Death Ball right here, right now. Boom, like this. Come on. This is the Death Ball that is going to trigger uh, Phase 3. This Nightmare on top, um, we're going to clear it with uh, Pyromancer, ho hopefully. As you can see, 
Yeah, phase two has way more units for some reason. Maybe it just looks like it, but um, the impression that I got, yeah, she starts spawning more units. So try to stay on phase one for as long as possible. Yeah, yeah. So we have 30 seconds until overtime. Overtime, it's like two two minutes, not one minute. The When the timer becomes red, uh, it's overtime. Okay, so that, um, hopefully that death ball is going to trigger phase three, but maybe not. I think I may, maybe I'll fuck it up this one too. Okay, yeah, for some reason shamans uh, were, were not healing and it killed all the shamans. Yeah, I fucked it up uh, one more time. This is one more big fuck up. See, I have three seconds until overtime and I am very, very far from phase three. I have to throw one more death ball, I think, yeah. But I will only do like one drag because it takes forever to build the death ball correctly. Okay, two, two, two. And now, you see, I dropped a uh, Drakisar on the left, on the right side. I am preparing for that final death ball that will kill Onyxia, because I will need a few Drakisats. Um, we're going to take the, uh, the right path, we're going to kill the right mini-boss, and we're going to kill Onyxia with the exact same uh, units. So see, Drakisat starts uh, attacking whelps, and Drakisat doesn't care about them because he's resistant and he has a shitload of HP. He can tank all these whelps easily. And we spawn Drag Shaman and Drake. And now we spawn one more Drag uh, from the middle tower. This like this is we're building the death ball, like we're going big deck. This is the final fight. Don't forget how many times you fucked up. See, I'm throwing everything because it's overtime, we get double gold. And you throw as many stuff as you can. You just need to kill this mini boss. <clears throat> as you can see, the left boss is coming. By the way, he, I'm throwing this Pyromancer again. This is extremely very powerful unit. We're going to clear all of that with one three gold Pyromancer. Watch, bam, bam. So this is our death ball. Three drags, couple of shamans, one Pyromancer. I am trying to delay this um, mini boss here. What I'm gonna try to do is, you can see, I'm gonna try to throw Drakisat right here to tank this mini boss, but it's already attacking my core. So like, uh, it was too late. Uh, and yeah, we have, we still have 30 seconds left, and this attempt was a complete disaster. Okay. Again, if you find something easier with even lower levels, let me know. In my opinion, this is the best kill um, post hotfix. Not the not the only kill, not the only legit kill, because like I said, there is that uh, rent kill, but it's extremely hard to execute. This is piece of cake. If you follow the direction, if you don't be me on like, if you don't do what I just did, uh, you're gonna feel way better. Um, and yeah, so go level up your units, get deep breath, PVP whales, beat the fuck out of them, be happy. <laughs> That's all. Fuck, he is hitting my... Man, he's like... Fuck. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, no, no, 30 seconds left, bitch. <laughs> oh my god. How long did it take me, like... A month and a what? A month and something? Um, I, I need to act it out. Wait a second, please, please. Uh, uh, huh. What did it take me, like 40 minutes? 
That's it. That's how it's done, boys. Ah. This is the one. Ah, Jim, don't say that, man. If you say this is the one, watch, I'm gonna fuck it up right at the beginning. Did you see how close it was, man? It's not even close, it's just... It literally, like... It, I, I needed, it, like, less than... Less than a second. I think. That's fine. Oh shit. Shouldn't have done that. Okay, drag the Yeah, right right there, exactly. That's how you do it, man. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. No, 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 my... My fucking cobalt, no! Oh, fucking fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, 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 Mm -hmm. I'm making a mess again. I did no. No. Please, let my cobalt get there. I'm begging you. My cobalt, yeah, exactly, there. Over there. Come on, come on. Let me have that. Let my paper go. 
<laughs> Yay! Got everything. Line up. Line up. Beautiful. The only problem is that I have no idea where to put these skeletonas. Skeletonas. Let's go like this. You know what? Let's actually slowly start. Mm. Like that. <laughs> Shalom, I don't know. Holy schmoly. Holy moly, holy schmuck. Alright, no, run from the fucking. Uh... Okay. Mm-hmm. <gasps> you see, why the fuck you didn't... Uh, are you guys not healing? Like... Yeah. Fuck, he is hitting my... Man, he's like... Fuck. Oh! 